Hey, how's it going everybody? Let's give you an update on where things stand. As you can see, I'm not wearing the brace anymore. I have done two weeks of radiation. They were shooting radiation on each side of my face, shooting into my C1 of my neck. I was also getting radiation shot at my hip into my pelvis area too for my right leg. As time was progressing, my right leg was just hurting more and more and more. I was alright sitting, standing, but while driving, no, it didn't, it did not agree with me. So I have not been diving for a while now. It's kind of depressing that I can't go out and just dive because I get bored. But that's it. It is what it is. So right now all I'm doing is I go to work at the college, I do my typical thing at the college, work on the computers, help the students, I leave an hour early, I go and get radiation done every single day at 3 o'clock. They all know me by name now, walk in, do my thing, lay on the table, they put this mesh over my head that is formed just for me, I'll have a picture of it up here. And that mesh holds my head in the exact position so every time I come in they're zapping the exact same spot and if I was to let this grow out you could see where the radiation has went you could see where the radiation has went by the hairline that I have going on here let me picture up there of that while I was doing radiation I wanted to actually do some video of the procedure the quick 10 minutes in, 10 minutes out type of thing. They refused to do any video, but I could have stills, and they took some stills of me on the radiation machine with my phone, and that was the most that they could do. So I'll show those up here when I edit this. So I did the radiation for two weeks, and at the same time I ran my blood work to see what type of EGFR mutation I have. Depending on the form of EGFR mutation that I have, I could either get a port and have traditional chemo, or plan B, I'll just be on a pill. I'm hoping just to be on the pill. Fingers crossed everybody. Good vibes from everyone, from all your viewers. During that time of doing the radiation, seeing the oncologist. I've been cleaning up things around the house, doing piddly things here and there. Jamie's been picking up a lot of slack on things that I can't do. I can't bend over. I can't pick things up. I've been watching a lot of YouTube. So shout out goes to Steve and Steph, Lonnie, Cincinnati Picker, Pete, Craigless Hunter. I watch you guys all day long trying to see exactly Maybe what do I want to do? I like to do the dumpster diving, but I also think I want to start doing the reselling. I also want to look into getting liquidation lots as well. I found out that I have a vendor that's only like 45 minutes out of here that buys Amazon, rese Amazon returns and sells the skids either broken down or in whole. So I'm thinking about dipping into that in 2020 since that's just around the corner. While I go out to my doctor visits, I have five doctors right now. When I visit their clinics, I'll swing by and I'll peek in different dumpsters, but I'm not up to jumping in. I don't really reach in to get anything. I have some video footage that I need to start editing again that dates back before I started getting laid up because I couldn't sitting like this was painful so I wasn't able to sit and edit video so there'll be some videos showing up on the feed that might be dated back a few months now like subscribe if you want to follow my journey on dumpster diving with cancer more power to you I think I'll beat this or I should say I will beat this I've went through brain surgery now this is 11 years seizure free since my brain surgery. Now I got thrown this curveball. Right now I don't feel much different than I did back in 
we'll say May, before any of this even started coming on. If it wasn't for my neck hurting, I would have never known that I have lung cancer. I've never smoked, never been around toxic environments. And from what I've been told with this EGFR mutation, it's not something that I would have gotten from being around asbestos, being around cigarettes, being around other toxins. So now I just wait for my to hear from my oncologists and see what my panel says. Again, I'm really crossing my fingers that I have this EGFR mutation exon 19. That's the magic one. Till then, I'll keep you guys updated.